Hi Virgo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. We're looking at the Monday the 1st of June through to Sunday the 7th. Uh, we're doing focusing on your general, your career and your love. So your general, we use the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. For career, we use the Gilded Tarot Royale by Sharon Marchetti. And for love, we use the This Might Hurt Tarot by Isabella Rotman. Okay, let's get started. Hi Capricorn, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. We're doing Monday the 1st of June through to Sunday the 7th of June. Uh, we're doing a career, sorry, a general career and love reading. So for your general reading, we use the uh, Tower of the Golden Wheel. For your career reading, we use the Gilded Tarot Royale. And for your love reading, we use the This Might Hurt Tarot by Isabella Rotman. Okay, let's get shuffling. Okay, Capricorn, so uh, let's have a look. So for your general, let's have a look at what the message is. We've got a Five of Swords energy here. So Five of Swords can be abandonment or Five of Swords can be doubt or Five of Swords can be arrogance or hurt um, or cutting away is the Five of Swords energy. Let's look at the next one. Uh, the Five of Two Fives in a row. So multiple fives. There's a couple of little challenges, but they're leading you on to something new, which is quite good. Some of you guys are feeling hurt, I think. Feeling hurt and feeling really disappointed, probably. Feeling hurt and disappointed with the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups energy showing there. Uh, two of Wands energy. Um, you may be facing a decision with this Two of Wands energy showing here, whether to stay or go. So you might be feeling hurt and let down. And I think with the Two of Wands, you may be facing a decision whether you stay in a situation or whether you go. Uh, the strength. You need to have patience, I think, with the strength energy showing here. The Two of Coins energy. So the Two of Coins is all about weighing things up. Um, I think that you need to have the strength. And also the Two of Coins can also be change as well um it depends on how you want to read the two of coins really okay because the two of coins can be juggling things so you might have to have the strength to try and manage the situation or to try and juggle it you know it feels like in the general reading that there's a situation that you're stuck in like right now like it's something that you can't get out of it's not something that you can easily just kind of you know for example this could be a reading about finding out that a partner's been lying to you, for example, in the general energy. But because you live with the person, you've got to make a decision whether you stay or go. And you've got to have the strength. You've got to have the strength to, with this Two of Coins energy, to try. Because Two of Coins can also be to juggle, to manage. So you may need to just have the strength to manage the situation as it is at this present time. Okay? From, what, from how I feel that these cards are reading. Because... It may be that this is a situation that is not something that you can easily resolve at the moment. So I do feel some of you guys are feeling hurt, Five of Swords energy, and disappointed with the Five of Cups. And you're facing a decision whether you stay or go in the situation. Uh, but you need to have the strength to try and manage the situation for what it is at the moment, okay? It's not something that you can easily just up and leave on, okay? There might be kind of external factors which say that you have to stay where you are at the moment. So I think at the moment you're just going to have to try and have the strength just to manage whatever the situation is at the moment until until those changes can be made. Um, let's have a look at work for Capricorn. So I'm seeing it could be like a rapid change or some messages coming in with the Ace of Wands energy. This can also be launching uh, new ideas or sending resumes and that type of things. Uh, the Ace of Wands and I'm seeing something happening really quickly here. All right, we've got the Ten of Coins energy showing here for work. So the Tens mean completion or something is being resolved here. I'm seeing a matter actually with the Ten of Coins uh, being resolved because I have to see the pentacles as matter because they're like matter in the hand and because it's a ten it's a resolution so I'm seeing a, a very quickly a matter may be being resolved here with that ten of pentacles energy showing here um it feels like within the workplace you're having or within work you're having to juggle various things with the two of coins energy showing here 
uh, two of coins so and the sun energy so the sun represents a solution or again it's a card about a resolution or completion something completing or something uh, you know a goal being reached and that type of thing so it almost feels like within the work situation you're having to juggle many things but I feel that there's going to be a positive re resolution to this with the sun energy showing here. And you've got the ace of cups energy. So uh, something, maybe some support or help is being given here with the ace of cups energy. I'm seeing some support or help being given here because the ace of cups can also be help and support that's being given. Um, the eight of wands, it feels like it's very, it doesn't even feel like it's messages or communication. I'm just seeing, or it could be communication, but I'm seeing a very quickly uh, with that Eight of Wands energy, a matter with which is being resolved here. Because I'm going to choose to say that the Ten of Coins is the matter. Pentacles are matter and Tens are resolution, so conclusion. So I'm seeing uh, very quickly with the Eight of Wands, a message, not message, sorry, very quickly with the Eight of Wands, a matter being concluded with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys have been kind of like juggling a lot of stuff. You've had a lot on your plate within work, but I'm seeing a really positive resolution being found with that sun energy. Perhaps some help and support is being given to you to try and manage whatever that workload is within the uh, Two of Pentacles. Let's have a look finally at your love reading, uh, Capricorn. So the Ace of Swords is all about the truth. Uh, communication, Ace of Swords, honesty, uh, the Ace of Pentacles energy. So I'm seeing uh, something to do with communication or uh, the truth coming out. The Ace of Swords is all about the truth. Uh, I'm seeing with the Ace of Coins energy, perhaps this is, and this could also be with the Ace of Swords, a new beginning or um, um What's the word I'm looking for here? Because Ace of Swords can be new phase. It's a new beginning. So what we've got here is we've got something that is suddenly kind of coming in. Something is suddenly cutting its way into somebody's life with the Ace of Swords. Got two Aces. So two Aces in a reading anyway is new beginnings. The Ace of Coins feels like a golden opportunity showing up here. It looks like it's coming from an emperor to you, Capricorn. So this golden opportunity is being presented to you from an emperor, showing here an Aries or somebody of great power, perhaps with the emperor energy. I'm seeing somebody who's offering you, wearing their heart on their sleeve, somebody showing you their interest, somebody's offering you love or, or inviting you to do something with the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups energy showing here. Uh, the High Priestess showing here. Hmm... Two Pisces cards as well, which is interesting. Um, I actually am going to take a punt on this card. This High Priestess is showing the book. The book is open. It's not kind of facing her. It's open for everyone to see. So I would say here that this person here, this Emperor, I think that they are wearing their heart on their sleeve, and I think that they're revealing their. I think that they're revealing their feelings to you because in this high priestess for me, she's revealing something because the book is open. So I think that this emperor is revealing how they feel. So revealing high priestess how they feel because Knight of Cups is all about your feelings, how they feel to you. So I'm actually going to say with the Ace of Swords that in love, I'm seeing a breakthrough. I'm seeing honest communication and finally clarity coming in this week or going into the next couple of weeks okay so in terms of love a breakthrough with the eight of swords clarity coming in communication honesty with the eight of swords i think is being presented to you with the ace of coins energy here it's coming from an emperor and it's being uh presented so it's um I mean, when you're, this isn't, I don't think this is commitment or anything like that with the Ace of Coins, because I think that this is fairly new. I think this person is someone maybe on your radar that's liked you for a very long time, but they've not said anything to you. So I think that this clarity, this honesty here, this information, Ace of Swords energy, okay, is being presented uh, to you. It's being presented to you as the pentacle though. So it's almost like this ace of swords. Some information is now taking shape. It's now being presented to you in terms of 
you know, um, it's almost like it's it, in terms of reality, it's almost like this information, let's just say the information is being presented to you with that Ace of Pentacles showing there. So it's being given to you because the Pentacle is being given to you. So uh, in terms of love, Ace of Swords, information, new information with the Ace of Swords energy is being presented to you with the Ace of Coins. Uh, this Emperor um, with the uh, Emperor card showing here is finally revealing their feelings to you. So I'm seeing somebody finally revealing, revealing their feelings to you, Capricorn. Somebody that didn't want to reveal how they felt about you before. They were probably too scared or there was an issue there, but I think somebody's finally revealing how they feel to you. Let's have a quick look then at... Um, we'll go through the reading one more time and then we're going we're gonna to do the, uh, the spiritual card here. So firstly, uh, for your general reading, I see that there's been some hurt and disappointment with those two fives, but it's fine because the two fives are saying, look, you've got, these are minor challenges that you're facing and it's taking you to the next stage. But I feel that uh, with the two of ones, it might be that because of that, you're facing a decision whether you stay or go in this situation here. But you need to have the strength. You need to be strong enough to try and manage the situation as it is at the moment. Because it might be that right now is a time where you can't just kind of disband and go and leave or whatever. It might be that you have to stay where you are at the moment. So it might be that it's telling you in the reading that uh, what you need to do right now, Capricorn, is just find a way that you can uh, manage the situation um the second reading is career so i'm seeing very quickly a resolution of a matter here with the ten of coins i think some of you guys have been really juggling work you've had a lot of responsibility showing here but i feel that this is going to come this is going to be resolved in a really good way with the sun energy as i feel that some of you guys are actually going to be receiving some support in that matter here so you've been juggling a lot of stuff but i think it's going to get resolved and you're going to receive the support that you need. Finally, in love, I'm getting uh, new information coming through. And I think that it's going to be put across to you. It's being presented to you. Uh, but this information is being tangibly, because this is the tangible uh, with the Ace of Pentacles energy. So this person is presenting to this to you in a very sort of tangible form. In other words, I think that this person isn't kind of jumping around the bushes anymore. It might be that this person in the past has spoken to you and they've been kind of really tactile and weird about stuff and unclear, but I'm seeing them being really honest and really open with you here. And I see that this person here is going to reveal truthfully what they feel for you. So finally, let's have a look at what the spiritual advice is. It's telling you that you need to believe this week, okay? So... Uh, the advice is, let's have a look, um, there's, and this came out for a couple of other uh, signs as well, so it says, there's magic all around you, open up to the wonders of the universe, and notice the connections, okay, so notice the connections uh, and synchronicities, so follow your feelings and believe with all your heart, that we successfully manifest our dreams when our feelings are in alignment with our plans. From that sacred union, the right ideas take shape, the best relationships blossom, and the stuff that's meant to be easily falls into place and everything is possible. Fantastic. All right. That is your reading, Capricorn, for the week. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you would like your own private reading, click through to my website. It's in the comment section below uh, or in the end screen. Have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.